Hi guys, welcome to Asian Petro. This will be probably the last review for the year 2021. So happy new year to you guys and hope to have much, much more fun in the year 2022. So today we have the Hyundai Casper, which is the smallest SUV from the Hyundai. Yes, even smaller than Hyundai Venue. So I think it's classified something like entry-level SUV or crossover. Quite confusing, but it will compete against its rivals such as Tata Punch and Suzuki Ignis. I really hope I don't flip this car today. And I think you guys will be curious about what we have under the hood. You can get Hyundai Casper with either one liter MPI gasoline engine or one liter turbocharged GDI engine. And luckily today we have it with a turbocharged GDI engine producing about 100 horsepower and 126 pound feet of torque. Engine made it to four speed automatic, yes, four speed automatic and power sent through only front wheels. So now let me just show you how fast this Hyundai Casper can be. Okay, let's take the ESC off, two stage, put the car into sports mode, and go! <laughs> it fills out. Come on, Casper, you can do it. Yes, not a sports car, but it's doing a pretty good job. And it took 10.6 seconds to hit 60 miles per hour. Yeah, definitely not a sports car, but it's pretty okay for its class, I think. And looking at the car from the front, we have a very cute looking hood on the top. That looks like a DRL, but that's actually turn signal. DRL is actually located here, circular ones. And we have a projection type headlamp system. So let me just show you working in action. That's DRL, headlamp, high beam, turn signal. There's no fog lamp and this is what horn sounds like. Horn actually sounds pretty loud. Okay guys? I noticed that some of you guys really don't like this circular design elements. Yes, I do agree. It looks like we have too many circular design elements from our front, but that is only for the turbo model. Non-turbo looks like this. So guys, do let me know which front design you prefer in the comment section, please. Turbo or non-turbo? We have a large opening in the middle, more on the bottom. And although this is a small SUV, it also comes with adaptive cruise control. You see that is radar sensor for the adaptive cruise control. We also have a little skid plate on the bottom as well. Hyundai Casper is based on the K1 platform that is also shared with Hyundai i10. And size-wise, compared to Hyundai Venue, Hyundai Casper is about 17, yes, 17 inches shorter compared to Hyundai Venue, about 7 inches narrower, also comes with about 4 inches shorter wheelbase. So yeah, it is a tiny SUV. And very interestingly, there isn't any belt lines for Hyundai Casper. That is why even this part is painted with the body color. I like it. It's making the car look larger and more rugged. We also have a roof rack on the top and we have a hidden type door handle for the second row passengers and even cute looking Hyundai Casper emblem right there. So let me quickly show you the second row seats. You guys know I'm about 6'2", and there's good amount of leg room and headroom even for me. So I would say that's pretty nice for this class. Window comes down actually all the way, very nice. But we do not have any heated seats for the second row passengers, air vents. But Hyundai is actually giving us fast USB charging port on the bottom, so very good. And once again, we do not have any armrest for the second row passenger or cup holders and we're just given a regular sunroof on the top but you can actually fold the first row seats like this and rest your legs very comfortable and you can also fold the second row seats like this and you know camping in the car is quite popular here in Korea so if you get an air mattress in here you can actually I'm about 6'2 Actually, 
lay down here even when I can. So yeah, it's pretty good for his class, I think. Camping in the car, it's freezing. <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> You can get Hyundai Casper with either 15 or 17 inches and a tester came with larger 17 inches and that's just wearing 205, 45 by 17 on front and back. Okay, now let's go out and check out the braking performance of Hyundai Casper then. A bit more speed. Come on Casper, you can do it. It took Hyundai Casper about 121 feet to a complete stop. Felt stable and confident even in this very cold condition. I cannot wait to throw this Casper around corners today. It even peels out. <laughs> so stay tuned, guys. We have additional brake light on the top and look, we even have a rear window wiper. Even Genesis GV60 did not come with it, so very nice. And also a progressive looking LED combination tail lamp. And if you see closely, Hyundai logo is actually incorporated within the tail lamp systems. Casper, that's a turn signal backup lamp. And we even have a little diffuser on the bottom. That's what trunk looks like. So it looks uh, pretty large with all the seats down. I'm going to show you soon so with the seats up. But we have uh, tools, some fixer flat kit on the bottom. And there's actually quite a, you know, depth right there. And if you fold the second row seats, the trunk seems quite small. But you can, of course, fold the second row seats to yield more cargo room. All right. And when you get inside, you can notice that there isn't any Hyundai logo on the steering wheel. Maybe it's something like Hyundai Ioniq 5, but not even dots. So there's nothing on the steering wheel. And we have a 4.2 inch screen right in the middle and eight inch infotainment screen. Both are very easy on your eyes and very quick to respond. Nice. I love the fact that we're given lots of physical buttons and dials for the climate media control. Gear selector here. And one very funny thing is there is heated and ventilation seats for the driver's seat, but only heated seats for the passenger side. So not really fair, are we, Hyundai? Okay, too much talking. Now let's go out and drive this Hyundai Casper then. Okay, let's start with visibility. For its size, visibility is very nice in here. Really, we have large windows all around. We do not have blind spots monitoring system, but we do have alert system. So yeah, it's quite a pleasant place to be. And really, the compact size of the car makes driving really easy and pleasant. Okay, let's do talk about powertrain for a second. If you've driven one, you know that three-cylinder can be a bit vibrating when it's idling. Same goes for Hyundai Casper, but it goes away once you start driving. So, something to think about. That's fine now. And just like we have shown you through 0-60 to 60 times, yes, this is no sports car. You don't drive this car to go really, really fast, but rather you drive this car mostly in the city and for short distances. But still, let me just put the car into sports mode and let you hear it. Well, it's peaked towards us as early as 1500 rpm so we will gradually push the car all the way through the rpm range yes this is no sports car like i told you don't drive this car you know to race but i think it's pretty all right for its class come on casper you can do it <laughs> foot to the metal yes Not bad at all. It takes a little bit of time, but not bad at all. 
An engine is made to full speed automatic, which also can be found from small city cars such as Kia Morning and Kia Ray. We do not have any paddle shifter and gear selector, only low gear. So let me just show it to you guys. Which gear is this? Three. <laughs> That's it. Four. Let's go to three again. Let's check out the handling capability. Wow. Rather, it handles very nicely. So really look forward to show you the corner. It feels very high, but hmm, surprisingly, maybe it's the Hanguk tire, but it's providing very good traction. So look forward to show you the handling capability pretty soon. And uh, transmissions, you know, I really wish we had a bit more gear and also manual gear, but yeah, it's just what it is. And rather than, you know, slamming on the uh, gas pedal, if you just you know, gradually push the car, then it just pushes the car more linearly and gently and taking advantage of the uh, turbo. So yeah, rather than going full throttle, you know, easy, Gradual acceleration works better for Hyundai Casper. And although this is an entry-level SUV, Hyundai Casper also comes with adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist. And adaptive cruise control is a very nice one, smooth, and also keeps a safe distance with the car in front. And also the lane keep assist, I thought it would be a, one of those uh, ping pong style, not delicate system, but it is very delicate system. And I'm quite surprised, uh, you know, Hyundai places uh, delicate ones, even for Hyundai Casper. You see, it's turning the uh, steering wheel for me. And of course, in a minute or so, it's gonna say, hey driver, put your hands back on the steering wheel. So even before that, you should always keep your hands on the steering wheel and although it takes a little bit of time but Hyundai Casper feels quite nice and stable even on very very high speed and you know this one liter turbo is much better compared to one liter MPI and just pulls very nicely yeah it gets a little bit noisy but and good brakes too yeah <laughs> i like this guy <laughs> feels like a tiny tiny suv yeah all right let's try a few corners hope i don't flip this car let's go with uh third gear sounds good Wow, it's taking very nicely. The front isn't too heavy, so we have a great balance. And I love the fact that the skinny tires are providing very good traction. And also love the fact that the ESC, let me play for a little bit, but nonetheless, this is very, feels very tall. So yeah, I don't suggest you doing this uh, for yourselves, but it's, let me just do it one more time, okay? <laughs> okay, let's try one more time on this hard left. It takes a little bit of time for Hyundai Casper. Whoa, taking very nicely. <laughs> wow, I can definitely feel the uh, <laughs> understeer. And uh, to start, I mean, this guy does not even have all-wheel drive system, but the chassis felt rock solid and, uh, you know, it just, <laughs> just goes around the corner very nicely uh, for a nice, for a tall SUV. Very nice Hyundai Casper. <laughs> Let's also check out the efficiency of Hyundai Casper. It has returned about 32 miles per gallon in the city and about 43 miles per gallon on the highway. I thought it wouldn't be so efficient on the highway because of the full speed automatic, but I guess I was wrong. Pretty good. 
All right, guys, this has been a test drive with the Hyundai Casper, the smallest SUV from the Hyundai. So hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll be back with much, much more. So if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit the bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Thank you, guys, and Happy New Year.